All right, so here is a Galaxy 12 inch oscillating fan. Somebody listed this on Marketplace recently for $15. And coincidentally, I managed to pick up another fan on my way to go get this one. I had to stop to break a 20 and, uh, you know, to get the 15 that I needed to buy this one. And I decided to stop at a thrift store in town that's usually pretty good for finding oddball vintage stuff for cheap like office supplies and stuff like that is usually what I would find there I usually don't see too many fans but um, I went in there and I found this it's a nine inch two-speed Lasco fan for three dollars so I think that worked out pretty good it's uh, model 2009, so that'll be another video for another day, so just a teaser of things to come. And the lady that I bought this fan from, uh, she told me something that I've heard a few times now when I've bought fans locally off marketplace uh, you know it seemed like she was kind of apprehensive to sell it but she just didn't use it anymore and um, what she said that I've heard several times now is that she was just happy that it was gonna go to a good home where somebody was actually gonna use it and um, you know it kind of just goes to show that people get a sentimental attachment to fans over time you know I imagine this is probably tied to a lot of memories and um, yeah she just didn't use it anymore decided to sell it to me thankfully and I thought $15 was uh, definitely a fair price fans in really good shape it's a little dirty but you know I've seen way worse it's pretty good, all, all things considered. It seems actually pretty well taken care of. Still has three clips on it. And I would say this is probably from like the early 80s. It has this motor housing on it that usually when I see this motor housing with the, with the back of it being like this, these fins here I would usually uh, probably say that that's like a mid to late 80s fan but being that it has the metal uh, handle here on the rear guard uh, that tells me this is probably on the older side of the fans that have this motor housing So, I don't know, Wild Guess 1982, maybe. I'm sure somebody will let me know. Here's uh, the stamp. And there's an ink stamp on top of the, the mold stamp. No model number, but I think it's 2150. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'll have to double check on that before I uh, post the video. It has the the old style molded plug that goes back to the 70s anyway. I'll get this plugged in and uh, she said that the fan runs perfectly fine and um, I have no reason to doubt that. These fans are known for holding up well and aging gracefully over time without any maintenance or or anything they just seem to run forever and this one seems like it's in pretty good shape so I would expect it to run at least halfway decent we'll see what we get here um, make sure I got the oscillation off and then uh, we'll try high speed if it'll stay down Well, it seems to run pretty good, but the high-speed button doesn't want really to stick. Hmm. 
no I can't get it to stick but it's definitely running pretty smooth relatively quiet I'm gonna have to probably um, put some oil in the switch maybe probably clean it out sometimes if you just hold it down for a little while when fans do this if you just hold the switch down for a little while sometimes it'll stick eventually at it anyway we'll try for medium speed come back to high speed later medium speed seems to work it's quiet it's running pretty smooth uh, not much vibration at all kind of jacked up but again I think the switch just needs to be cleaned pretty smooth on low speed too I think this might have one of the older motors in it there was at some point in like the early to mid 80s the motors changed at least slightly and I think those can be characterized by uh, kind of a hollow rattle that a lot of the fans seem to have, particularly on low speed. Uh, usually goes away on the medium and high, but on low speed they'll they'll have this like just kind of a hollow rattle sound. Some of you guys are going to know what I'm talking about. Uh, this doesn't seem to have that, so I wonder if this has one of the older motors on it that would go back to like the late '70s around 1980-ish. There's a little bit of a rattle there, but it's not the same kind of rattle that I'm talking about. Uh, on like the mid-80s Lasco fans, it's almost like a, like a clunky kind of sound. My Dayton fan and the Panasonic branded fan both, both have that rattle this doesn't so that's good Let's see if the oscillation works seems to work just fine I noticed it has these like goobers on it too like plaster or something. I don't know what that is. It's weird. Go for medium again. Now that one doesn't want to stick. Try high one more time. And there it goes. Let's see if we can turn the oscillation off. And uh, I want to pull a velocity measurement off of this high speed real quick. Oh, yeah. Up around 1100 feet per minute which uh, is typically what I would expect to see after I had done the clean and service on a fan like this so this is in really good shape for its age see what the spin down is like Remarkable. Yeah, that just 
further cement the legacy of these Galaxy fans. Particularly like the late 70s to very early 80s models. They just, they had the winning formula with with those motors. I'm not sure exactly what it is about it, but particularly uh, the lubrication, which I think was just like a glob of grease they put in there. Uh, from what I've seen anyway, whenever I've op opened these fans up. But uh, yeah, we'll get this one cleaned up eventually and revisit it. And um, in the next video, I think you can expect to see a 9-inch Lasco fan from late 90s, maybe early 2000s. Till then, thank you for watching.